Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Say Yes to Prophets TV, a special edition, Quick Books Online. I am your host, Octavia Connor, CEO of Say Yes to Prophets and author of the best selling book, Say Yes to Prophets Now. Here at Say Yes to Prophets, we focus on helping businesses remove the stress of financial management so that they increase cash flow boost profit margins, and grow their business by 50% or more in six months or in less. Today, we are going to go over understanding QuickBooks Online dashboard. So when you first log into QuickBooks Online, it's going to take you to this beautiful dashboard here. Here's the thing. If you are someone that often has to log into QuickBooks Online and you don't want your important information seen as soon as you log in, QuickBooks give you this privacy feature. Once you click here, then it will shade all of that information so that if you have to log into your QBO file in front of someone, they won't see your important information. But for my sample company, we're gonna go ahead, of course, and unselect it. Now, on the dashboard, you have five blocks. Now, while I absolutely love QuickBooks Online and I'm gonna go over the different blocks here, I do wish that we could customize the blocks to remove the ones we don't need and add the ones that we need to do and change it around a little bit. I do wish that that was an option, but it's not, and that's perfectly okay. So the first block that you're going to see is your invoices block. Now, this is great because if you often create invoices and provide credits to your customers, then you'll be able to see the ones that are currently overdue as of the date you open the QuickBooks file. You'll also be able to see the ones that are not yet due yet, that are not yet due, excuse me, but they're inside of QuickBooks. Then you're going to see any deposits that you've received and the ones that have yet to be deposited into your bank account. So this is highly important and you can click on it and it'll take you actually to those invoices here and you'll be able to really take a deep dive look at them. Okay. So that's your first block. Your next block is your expenses. And I love the fact that I can toggle between the months that I want to look at, the year or the quarter that I want to look at. So if I am looking at this quarter, all I have to do is click on this quarter and as you see here, it comes up. And when you click over the little icon here, it tells you how much you've spent, and to what category. Isn't that just great? The next block is the bank accounts block. And it's gonna list all of your bank accounts and credit cards that you have set up in QuickBooks Online. Now, when you're looking at this block, you may see that there are some transactions that need to be reviewed. And that just means you have your bank account set up to import transactions into QuickBooks and QuickBooks has imported the transactions, but you have yet to allocate them to their correct area. So then it's going to tell you how many it is. Once you do the allocations per transaction, this number will decrease or once you complete them all, you'll have a green check next to this line. Okay. The next block is your profit and loss block, which identifies a quick view of your profit and loss statement. And just like the expenses block, you can toggle between what you would like to view. You can also click on it and it'll take you to your profit and loss statement and you can see this information in details. Maybe you wanted to see what this 6,916 was made up of for your income or this 5,235 was made up of for your expenses. All you have to do is click on it and QuickBooks takes you to the profit and loss statement that you're going to be viewing. Isn't that great? And here it is all for you. 
So the last block is your sales. So it gives you a diagram of exactly what's going on as far as your sales activity in your company. And just like the expenses and the profit and loss block, you can toggle between what you would like to see over a particular period of time. So that is the dashboard for QuickBooks Online. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions and your comments below. Also share this video on your social media outlet and subscribe to the Say Yes to Profits TV YouTube channel. This has been Octavia Connor, CEO of Say Yes to Profits. See you again soon. Toodles.